All right. So I'm going to start with just the simple definition of marketing. So let me slide my phones over and get a little comfortable. All right. So marketing is the action taken to drive profitable customer. A cus I'm sorry. Let me say that again. The action is taken to drive profitable customer interaction. So what you're doing is you're, when you market, you are creating an action and the actions that you are creating should drive the customer to your website or to make a purchase from you. So the buyer's journey is something that we have to understand as business owners or entrepreneurs we have to understand the way that a person is going to purchase with us and the stage. So there are three stages of the buyer's journey. Um, I like the teaching model of mo there are more than three stages that, and it actually drives the, um, it talks about the post purchase. So after someone makes a purchase with you as well and keeping them as a customer. So, but tonight, um, okay, let me just go ahead. So those, the stages, y'all get y'all pen, y'all pads, y'all papers out, um, iPads, whatever you want to do. So the stages are the awareness stage, the interest stage, consideration, decision, post-decision, and repurchase. But the traditional, I guess you can say, model that the standard model, um, is the awareness, consideration, and decision. So buyers, a tip, your typical customer goes through all three of those stages and it's like a funnel. So if you think about a funnel, it's like an upside down triangle, right? I should have my whiteboard. So if you have an upside down triangle, at the top, you have your awareness stage. In the middle, you have your consideration stage. At the bottom, you have your decision stage. So let me go ahead and talk about the awareness stage. This is what a lot of us use uh, and, and we really don't understand how to use it. So the awareness stage is when a person comes in contact with your brand. So social media, think about being at out or at a networking event or at a pop-up shop or somewhere. Nowadays, what do we always say? You got social media, you got Instagram, you got Facebook. If you do, what are you going to do? You're going to exchange information. This is your business page. You're going to tell them about, you know. So that's the first thing that you do. That's the awareness stage. The customer is becoming aware of your brand. So marketing during this stage is important because a lot of the times that's where we are. We're using social media to try and attract customers. Okay, so if y'all good, let me know. Let me know if we, we, we still here, we still here. So when a customer, so say you're on TikTok, if somebody is on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook and they come across your brand, they come across your, um, your social media platform, they're now in the awareness stage of your funnel. So this, this is the stage that is like the first impression um, when you're in the dating phase. It matters the most because the person doesn't, you know, this is their first time interacting with you. So what they see, they haven't even been to your website yet, right? Now y'all make sure y'all let me know. Okay, cool, cool. So they haven't even been to your website yet. Um, nine times out of 10, a person doesn't typically purchase the first time they go and they interact with the brand. So a lot of us post on social media expecting an immediate sale when the customer is still in the awareness stage. They're not sure if they want to even shop with you or not. Okay, so now we have the awareness stage. We're going to move on to the consideration stage. Let me make sure I look at my notes and I talked about everything I wanted to with that. All right. So now that they came in, okay, so here we are with an example. Um, I have a product line. I, okay, spiritual healing. I sell sage and, the, and products, okay? So 
I meet someone, here's my Instagram, boom, they're in the awareness stage, right? We're at the top, I mean, yeah, we're at the top of the funnel. So now, I forgot if I was the customer or the, okay, I sell the product, right? So no, now I'm gonna be the customer, y'all. Sorry to confuse y'all, I'm, I'm the customer. <laughs> okay, so I want to shop with you and you sell Sage, right? So I've came in contact with you and I'm like, yeah, let me get your social media. Um, we switch social, I, I get your social media and everything. So one day I'm on Instagram and I'm just scrolling on Instagram. I come across your page. Oh, this is the same person that I met that sells this product. Okay, cool. I'm considering now, I click on your page, you know, let me go and see what it is that he offers. I click on your page. Okay, well, let me go to the website. I'm in the consideration stage now. I'm considering making a purchase with you. So this is going to matter again with the way that you talk to your customer with whatever stage that they're in. So now I'm on your website and I'm like, oh, okay, I really wanted some stage today, but I'll maybe wait and get some next week. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave my email address. Maybe I'll get a coupon or something, or maybe he'll, you know, I'll just leave my email address. Hopefully I'll think about it next week and then I'm a, you know, check out next week. So they're in the consideration. I'm in the consideration stage of shopping with you. So I still have yet to shop with you, but I've been to your website. I've seen your social media, but I haven't made a purchase yet. Right. So this is the typical thing that we don't think about when it comes to our customers and the way that they shop. So now, um, this is where, you know, emails are very important. Email comes into play. So now, all right, I'm thinking about it's next week and you sent me an email saying, hey, we got Sage. Our Sage just came back in stock. Oh my God, now it's time for me to make the sale. I mean, now it's time for me to make a purchase. So as the, so it is your job basically. So I'm sorry, I was the customer. So as the customer, you reminded me through your email because I wasn't thinking about the sage. Does that make sense? So I was in the awareness stage, but I'm sorry, the consideration stage of the buyer's journey. But because you collected my email address, and you actually thought about me as a customer, you reached back out to me, that made me want to purchase. So a lot of the times we just think about social media and we think, hey, it's, you know, we're going to post everything that we need to post on social media and we're just going to get a sale. But we have to go back and figure out what stage is this person in? So they see us, we're at the awareness stage. Are we giving them content to make them want to make a purchase with us, to make them want to proceed and go into the consideration stage. Is our content um, solving problems for them with whatever product it is that we sell that they feel like they have to make a purchase with us? Okay, so let me go back. So, all right, I'm on the consideration stage. You think about this too. I want y'all to think about it in different ways. I'm, on the, I'm in the consideration stage. All right, let's think about Amazon. When we go to Amazon, before you make a purchase, what are you going to do? If you see something that you like, before you make a purchase, what are you going to do? Anybody? What y'all going to do? Y'all just going to buy from Amazon, whatever you see. If I'm going and I might need another um, remote control or something. I'm going to read a review, right? So then we have to think about that as well. Research it, then put it in your cart. Right, so you're going to research it, you're going to read the reviews, you're going to make sure that whatever it is, you're looking for proof that this product does what it's supposed to do. So that is another thing that we have to consider um, is making sure that we have proof during the consideration stage for our customers so 
that they'll be a little more inclined to purchase with us. We do the same thing on, like I said, with Amazon. So, all right, so now let me go back. Okay, so we're in the consideration stage. Um, What was I talking about? Stage. So I'm on the website. I made it to... Um, so now I'm about to purchase. I made it to the, you sent me an email and now I'm like, oh yes, I, instantly I thought about it. So now I'm about to purchase. All right. I go make a purchase. I became a customer. I'm now in the decision stage of the buyer's journey. I decided to make a purchase with you, whatever it was that you were selling. I, I had enough proof. It, there was enough reviews to validate that the product was a great product or that it does what it was supposed to do. Um, there was maybe a great product description that let me know what the purpose of this set, what this sage does, um, how to use it or, you know, whatever the case may be. A great product description. And now I made the decision to purchase. So now when you think about marketing to your customer during these different stages, you have to think that your customers are in the awareness stage mostly on social media. And that's where we mostly market at. So you want to make sure that, one, you have your email list set up. You want to make sure that you have a form set up on your website that captures emails not only captures emails, you want to make sure that you are reaching back out to those people who gave you your email, the email address. You want to continuously reach back out to them. Um, top of mind is should should be what you always think because you would want your customers to think about you instantly with whatever product it is that you offer. You want them to instantly think about you and your service or your product. I'm sorry. Okay, so um, when it comes to talking to your potential customers in the awareness phase, you want to educate them on whatever it is, whatever product you offer. So you want to educate them and say, okay, I, I have a boutique and an online, a online boutique. So I want to educate my customers through social media with letting them know what type of material I offer, the, the clothing that I offer, the type of material. Um, is it made for going to work or is it made for lounging at home? So you want to talk to them in the different stages and let them know those specific things educate them, build trust with them during the awareness stage so that when it's time for them to go to your website, you've built enough trust with them that all they need now is maybe a little more push, maybe just one review or maybe just re the reading the product description just to push them over the edge like, yeah, this is exactly what I need. So, um, anybody have any questions so far? Do you have any questions so far? Is this making sense to everybody? Is this making sense to y'all? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Is this making sense to y'all? We understanding the the stages of the buyer's journey and how we talk to our customers in the different stages and why it's important to know what stage they are in when it comes to marketing to your customers. We good, yes. Okay, great. Okay. So yes, your goal, um, all right, so then your goal, your goal as a marketer during um, the awareness stage, you know, other than educating your audience and building trust with them, 
you want to make sure that you have measures in place so that when it's time for them to go purchase with you or when it's time for them to go um, think about, you know, becoming a customer, you can capture their email, you can capture their number, and you are not only capturing it, but you're able to reach back out to them. And you have a system set up to reach back out to them. So this continue this helps with bringing the customers into the different stages. Okay, now let me see what else. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Um. Okay, so during the consideration stage, after they've already given you their email address, or once they um, have subscribed you know, to your mailing list, during the consideration stage is when you need to nurture your customer so you don't automatically sell to them. You don't automatically send, um, you know, hey, you, I, you just gave me your email address, now I want you to buy 30,000 products. So you welcome them. You you know you you should have a welcome email set up that thank you for your time. Thank you you know thank you for um, wanting to take a look around my shop. I'm so and so. This is what I do, or this is what our business does. Um, this is you know you you want to give them information and you want to. You want to kind of, this is the courting phase. So in a relationship, you know, when you first meet somebody, social media, you're not going to automatically want to be in a relationship with them. You got to see if this is something that I want to dig or not. So if it is, the website, that's the first date. Okay. Does that make sense? So with your emails, you're you're warming them up. You're like, yeah, let's go and let's let's go bowling tonight. This is what we're gonna do tonight. So you're warming your customers up to get acquainted with your brand, get acquainted with your business. Once that takes place during the consideration phase, then you know you can sell to them. So you don't automatically want to start selling at the top of the buyer's journey. You don't want to start selling when they just become aware of your brand because that's going to make them like, I don't know about that. Does that make sense? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope y'all, I hope this is definitely helpful. Okay, so. So that is the buyer's journey. Um... I'm not going to go and get into the post purchase and all of those things because that is a important part as well with keeping your customers coming back. That is important once you have them as a customer to continuously keep them coming back so that you can continuously, you know, profit, profiting from that customer. So reel them in, yes. You reel them in with with your you're you're reeling them in with everything really. Um, but you just have to make sure that you're not selling. You're not being so salesy initially. You're you're giving them you're giving them um what can I what can I call it? They need so you're you're gonna have to with your with your products and with your social media content, you're with the sage it's like okay, what is what is sage for? What do I use sage for? Um well what do most people use sage for? Because I'm not well, I'm not the, let's not talk about that because I'm not the greatest with that um let me use something that i know <laughs> building a trustworthy business relationship yes so basically yes 
that's what you're doing with your content is getting your customers to trust you and to understand what your product offers so whatever it is that you offer um that's what you're explaining to them through your content and then when they get on your email list they are different ways that you talk to the different customers so you know someone who may just first come on your website versus someone who may like i say have came in contact with your brand um or who may came in contact with you through social media multiple times and they go on your website but they just don't want to shop yet typically it takes a customer seven times to come in contact or to come across whatever it is that you offer before they decide to make a purchase and um with depending on what website host you use i use shopify and they actually show you your customers interactions so you will get to see during the time you will be able to actually see that customer how many times they've came to your website or how many times they actually may um have taken a specific action so that that gets into the analytics and knowing your customers but that definitely oh i lost my trains i thought that definitely um sorry i lost my train of thought y'all <laughs> i don't know what i was saying i think about it in a minute if y'all have any questions y'all can let me know and i'll be definitely coming on live more often i will be on live every wednesday actually um every wednesday it will be sometimes it'll be with me just by myself sometimes it will be with a guest so on wednesdays i'll be going live if you want to if you have a topic specifically that um you can think of or something you can definitely dm me let me know and thank you i'm so glad you did i'm so glad you did that is definitely the goal um i'll be coming up with topics but i want you guys to come up with topics as well so if you have any questions there'll be a week that i will actually just go specifically on to whatever topic it is if it's you know a certain specific topic that you guys choose um so this will be a regular thing i hope you oh one other thing so let me ask y'all a question um do you have email marketing set up in your business right now email or text marketing set up in your business or in your online store y'all let me know if y'all have it set up um no i'm just starting okay well i hope this information was definitely helpful for you no no email marketing okay so yeah we definitely still in the developing stages okay cool cool so we definitely want to make sure that um that is something that we have set up in our business if you think about it i like to tell people all the time um it's i like to say when you go places when you go out when you're shopping when you're in the grocery store they always ask you for your email or your phone number. And if you just think about that, we should be doing the same thing. They're asking you for your email and your phone number so that they have control. I'm going to leave you with this last thing too. So that they have control over um, their customers and clientele. So social media, we don't have control over social media. Everybody doesn't see our posts. Everybody doesn't see our stories. So I might not see, you know, a product of something that someone posted. But what we do have control over 
is someone who gives us their email address, someone who gives us their phone number, because then we can send out those messages to our customers, just as the bigger corporations are doing. So we have to think about that um, as well. Um, so I will go ahead and let you guys know though that next Next week, I will have a guest with me. If y'all have any questions, y'all go ahead and let me know. Y'all can drop it in the um in the question box, or you can just drop it in the in the comments. Either one, either one works. Next week, I will have a guest, and we are actually this is we'll be just talking um about a few things transitioning into entrepreneurship and transitioning in different states so we'll just be talking about a few things conversation let you guys in on a few um tips and just some any type of encouraging words next week's gonna be fun um so definitely come back next week and the week after i'll be here do you know any good stuff i'll be here every week any good software that does the email marketing for you so yes actually I was going to talk about that. Um, well, I will be talking about that. I will be talking about email marketing on October, I believe it's the 13th. Not next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. I will go into um, more depth with email marketing on the following week. The software that I use is Clavio. Clavio or Clavio. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but that's what I use. Um, I will also be I will also be hosting a webinar and a live workshop in the month of October along with my one on ones. Um, the mentorship, the group mentorship is closed, but the one on ones are open and I will be hosting a live workshop and a webinar as well for um, going over one will be for email marketing and the other will be a overall marketing webinar and that one will be a very in-depth um at least like two hours webinar the live workshop will be going over email marketing specifically setting up um the clavio account and going into detail with how to use that that will be this month on the 17th and on the 24th the 24th i believe is the um marketing one-on-one -on -one webinar so if y'all have any other questions let me know but um clavio integrates with shopify so that'll be a great one hey girl Y'all don't have any more questions for me. Do you have any questions, honey girl? We are talking about email marketing, um, having email marketing set up. Well, we were talking about the buyer's journey and we will be discussing email marketing in two weeks. If y'all don't have any more questions for me though, um, I will see you guys next week with my special guest and we will just be talking about a few things this was very informative i'll get with you after great it's great sounds good sounds good i'm so glad it was informative though if y'all don't have any more questions hey hey we girl how are you um, if y'all don't have any more questions for me, then I will see you guys next Wednesday on live. And you can bring your questions then if you have any. If you come up with any questions, you can bring your questions then and ask me next week. So I appreciate everybody who tuned in today on Instagram and Facebook. I appreciate y'all. Like I said, next month will be a lot going on, a lot going on. I plan to be way more interactive in these internet streets. So, 
I'll be here. My DMs are open. If you are interested in um, the, there will be early bird tickets for the webinar and there won't be any early bird tickets for the workshop. So if you are interested in either, I am offering a discount to anyone that is on the live. So if you DM me and you let me know, you can DM me the word marketing 101 for the marketing webinar or email marketing for the email um, workshop. So if not, it's been great, guys. I appreciate y'all, seriously. And I'll be back with some more info next week. See y'all later. You're welcome, you're welcome.